for an analysis of the question why MBA. The start after 10 plus 2. Rishabh went back in his after 10 plus 2 days and his days for preparation for MBA. After all, the research work preparation started. Along with completing his graduation, the first thing he had done was taking admission in an English speaking course. The institute was in Exhibition Road, very posh market, and surprisingly, his batch was mixed of different age group students. Among them, the best speaker was a girl, only 10 year old. Her name was Pinky. Pinky, youngest student of that group, and a girl with a golden heart. Her father was a lawyer in Patna High Court and she had a younger brother. She was Muslim and her elder brother was Rishabh. There was no religious division there. The relations were pure and unbreakable, not like today's news of animosity in the name of religion or a word like intolerance. Nothing was there. She used to bring homemade lunch for him. Raksha Bandhan and Eid had the same importance. That part of life taught him how to make a lasting relationship. But like others, his English was not improving. He had great fear to speak. Whenever he wanted to talk, his mind started giving him a signal that he is going to make a mistake. That was self-hindrance. To overcome this, he started reading English newspapers loudly, sitting in front of the mirror and started talking to himself, memorizing words from dictionary, vocabulary. All went in vain. Despite all these efforts, he was not able to talk confidently. And this was the big problem because in MBA entrance, the GD, group discussion and interview carry a lot of weightage and if you are not able to speak well, then how will you get a good college? The pressure was mounting. He had no clue how to overcome this problem. One day Pinky came near him and asked, why are you so tensed? Rishabh told her his problem. She started laughing and said, hey, from today we will speak only in English and please forget grammar. While talking, your problem will be solved. Speaking English without grammar? Yes, this was the mental block. His teacher, Sanjay sir, was listening to this conversation. And he added, Rishabh, start thinking in English. Try one more thing. Read whatever you love to read. Anything, any subject, any book related to any field. Any field? He asked. Yes, any field. If you like sports, read sports news, films, read filmy magazine. Even if you like an adult magazine, read that. But the condition is that too should be in English. Great. Now the new formula was found and Rishabh started applying it. But this was not an easy task as the majority of North Indian students know how difficult it is for them to come up with his speaking English syndrome. Each passing day was giving the sleepless nights to Rishabh. Because without English, he cannot even think of getting admission in any MBA college. One day he was in Gandhi Maidan with few of his friends. Gandhi Maidan is one of the biggest park in the center of Patna. This park is used for big political rallies and other events. There is one big permanent podium where all the leaders come and address the gathering. It was 1 pm. All of a sudden, Rishabh climbed onto the podium and started speaking in English. Anything and everything, whatever came in his mind, he just spoke out. Everybody was surprised and thinking, this guy has gone mad or what? After completing his speech, Rishabh felt that the gap or confusion vanished from his mind and he was feeling relaxed. The barrier was broken and that day he learned only one thing matters in life that is the start. Forget all the fear, just start 
and you are one step closer to your success. To be successful, you don't need to have a degree or to even graduate from high school. What you need is the desire to learn and keep on learning. If you really want to bring success to your life, you should cultivate yourself just as you would cultivate a garden for the best yield. To think for yourself is to know yourself.